Hello YouTube, it is EverythingyPan here, and in this video we are doing a video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu 22.10 in VirtualBox. Um, this had just come out recently here, this is now the latest version of Ubuntu at the time of recording this video. Um, so uh, this was suggested in the comments of one of my previous videos to do this version of Ubuntu, or the latest version of Ubuntu here. So. Uh, shout out to the account called Russia Man um, on one of my latest videos of doing the Ubuntu 22.10 installation. So shout out um, here. And it actually was a few weeks ago. I apologize. Thank you for also providing that information. It was a few weeks ago, not a few days ago, that it was uh, released. So uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and just get right into uh, this installation here. Um, in the description, of course, VirtualBox will be here. The latest version of VirtualBox at the time of recording this video is version 7.0.2. Um, if you are not a fan of VirtualBox 7.0, you can download uh, the versions here of 6.1. Um, and the support is available until December of 2023. And you can see they've got it all listed here, even some of the other versions. Um, so you can download that if you wish versus 7.0 if you want. Um, another link or the second link that will be in the description will be the ubuntu download uh site here for getting ubuntu 22.10 you can uh go ahead and get it right here and it will automatically start downloading the iso which should be relatively quick uh, for that download there once you have those downloaded um we'll go ahead and open up VirtualBox here we're going to create a new virtual machine i'm just going to call this ubuntu 22.10 and we're gonna go ahead and get that ISO inserted by hitting the arrow and hit other. And then um, just navigate to where you have the Ubuntu ISO saved. And it'll detect it as Ubuntu 64-bit. Um, so just hit next. We're gonna do the uh, installation here for it. Um, so, and then you can type in a password. I think in this it may actually work if we type in the right password. Um, I know with some of the easy installs for Windows, it hasn't worked here. Um, we'll also try and install guest editions if possible. Um, and then I'm just gonna also just call this Ubuntu. And then I think, yeah, no, we can't leave that blank. Um, and then uh, if you check install in the background, it won't pop up the machine when it starts. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it unchecked hit next we're gonna have it just have two gigs of ram one processor no big deal there and then it, uh the minimum disk size it has here is 25 gigs um you really shouldn't need that much i think even if you have like 10 gigs that should be fine i'm just gonna leave it at 25 for this purpose here and then on the summary page it'll just tell you everything you've done here and then you should be able to just hit finish and it will automatically power on the virtual machine So you can see it does power on the machine. We're gonna go in to try or install Ubuntu here. And it will load us up. You can see the Ubuntu boot screen here. Which actually looks very similar to how Windows 11 in a way is laid out. And then it should eventually load us up, I believe, into the desktop here. So you can see it eventually will load up here. So eventually the startup sound will play as well and it actually is going through the install here so really the only thing manually that it looks like here so far that you have to do is just get it so that it goes into the try and install ubuntu stage there i think there might be a counter on that uh, bootloader here anyways but if not uh, just make sure it gets to that stage and then it will go through uh the install here so as you can see it's going through the installation of ubuntu so this will take a little bit of time 
to complete here. So just let it run through here. It's gonna make sure to install and copy everything over. And then it will, I think, eventually proceed to have us reboot or do a reboot here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let it do its thing here. And then I'll come back to you guys once it's uh, getting finished through or get to a uh, restart point here. Okay, so we have finally hit a point here where it's going ahead and um, rebooting here. Um, so it's going to come up with a couple of messages here and then eventually um, should go ahead and reboot the machine. Um, so we'll let it sit here, see if it does so. Sometimes if it doesn't, you can do a reset, but it does look like it did the reboot here. And it's going to go ahead and load things up here for us. May take a little bit here to load through everything. You'll see the boot screen come up here. So just keep letting it load here. It may take a little bit um, while it's loading up here. So uh, we'll just let it continue through. And so it'll eventually bring us to the logon screen here. So we'll click into the account and um, well, I'll type in the password here that we've set up. And you can see it brings us into the desktop. As for um, if guest additions is even a thing or, you know, if it works, anything like that. Um, you can insert the image, but as for if it actually does anything, you know, that's a that's a different thing. Um, but for the most part here, it looks like we've got the uh, setup here and looks like everything is installed. And it looks like everything is working as normal here. And uh, we've completed, completed through the installation. Um, so that is how to install Ubuntu 22.10 in VirtualBox. If you guys did enjoy this video or if you found it helpful at all, you can leave a like down below. If you have any ideas for any future videos, um, certainly can leave a comment down below. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, um, you can certainly hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a video and to keep up to date on my content. Um, once again, this is the video tutorial on how to install Ubuntu 22.10 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.